Hey guys, welcome back to a Mass Effect 3 Let's Play. Let's go down in the med bay so we can talk to Dr. Chakwas about something and go to engineering and uh, Garros, are you looking at something? Thane, whoa. Shepard, hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. You got a little tense there? I heard what happened. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? Uh, on Ashley? No. I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Kate. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Yep. May I speak with you, Commander? Let it rip. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Okay. Not again going to the Citadel. I'll Fuck. find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our medijal. You should do that, Doctor. Now I gotta go to engineering. Let's take a little break to engineering to see if the peace got to atoms. Uh, okay. Did you get the piece? Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. So, how did I get volunteer to crawl through the ducts? You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn hot in here. Hey, didn't Adam say that all the Normandy is eating? Kenneth, stop right there. Just didn't I tell Joker. He'll get jealous. We're still working on the thermal modifications. We should be done pretty soon. This is weird. <laughs> Kenneth is still installing the thermal conduit down in the crawl space. We'll have a report later. Kenneth is still installing the thermal ah, conduit. I got the down point. The we'll have a report later. I hate people that always repeat themselves too much. Oh, that's kind of Javik. How's it hanging? How do you feel taking down a reaper? Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Then. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. 
They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. So, we are humans, we're doomed? What? That's kinda... <laughs> hold us back. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You? Really? <laughs> you think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. Let's see how it can be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it would take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. That was a nice line <laughs> with the Warren thing. Yeah, that was really nice. <laughs> I'm looking forward <laughs> to more lines from Javik like this. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. What? The politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, her death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others will be tolerated. Well, that's kind of creepy. Tear his limb? Oh my god. Ooh. Javik. I'm right next to you. Ah, shit. You don't want to talk? Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. Ah, boy. Let's see. Adams, Donnelly, Daniels, Diana Ellers, Javik, James, Lieutenant Cortez, Liara, Dr. Chakos, Garrus, Ashley. Oh, yeah, Ashley. I forgot to talk about. Oh, let's go to Ashley. Special trainer, ED Joker, and my personal quarters. Let's go back uh, to no to the crew deck. I need to speak with Ashley to see if she joins the fight or not. Life support. Men's bathroom. If I'm no, she's at the other end of the corridor. There she is. Hey, Ash. Good to see you. Good to see you. That's all. What? Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's weird. 
Go away. Can I flush? No, can flush. Something uh, new around here? No. So let's go on a mission. He's available in the war room. Oh, come on. Trainer. A similar game I played next year, last year with uh, the Bureau XCOM. It was something ex uh, not something, it was exactly like Mass Effect 3 with all the dialogue and uh, every little checkpoint with all the containment fields and everything and it kind of ended the same way with the character dying or having more endings to it and that was really interesting to see another game that has the same things that Mass Effect has that's good in games but uh, let's see <laughs> you gotta explain more about how can someone for the, from the 40s know how to wield an alien weapon that was kind of weird for me seeing that Shepard I was hoping you'd check in again you okay? been putting my old academy training to use organizing the resistance you know you've got quite a fan club back here any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches I know what that's like fighting in the dark I'm glad we're making a difference it's more than that a lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. But any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs. <laughs> but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Anderson, hang in there. We're coming. Don't worry about... Uh me, I can take care of myself. Commander Shepard. What? No more st small talk? That's all? You just say Commander Shepard? Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Oh, that's kind of weird. Are you spying out uh, one? <laughs> There's a lot of <laughs> a lot of messages. Steve Hackett, as a promise, here is what you will. Uh, K Lang, K Lang, let's see. There's a lot of shit in here. Got a minute? Hey, Commander. J just wondering if you go sometime in the near future. Nothing critical, just wanted to chat. meet me at the bar the students are kicking ass and taking names they're keeping them on short rotation so they don't burn out so we end up with loss of surely next time we hear the signal come by purgatory I'll be there no, I'm blowing shit up I'm blowing shit up <laughs> in the field 
so Vega wants to talk Jack wants to talk Diana Ellers wants to talk Game night, Samantha Trainer, Commander, thanks for taking the time to speak with me, blah, blah, blah. Why don't you give me a call if you'd like to grab drinks in the cabin, in your cabin, I promise a night of fun and games. Holy shit, she's hitting on me. The artist on ship I've been working on, something I'd like to see, show you. Can. What? Everybody wants to see me now. <laughs> I'm so popular. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna start with um, not with trainer. Let's start. Let's go to Liara. Ashley doesn't want to talk to me. Then I'm gonna go to Diana Allers. Then see what James wants from me. So we're gonna start on the crew deck first. Wow, this is kind of weird. Uh, Liara, this way. You can get very confusing on this ship. I gotta go back to the Citadel. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. I had something I wanted to show you, Shepard. Could we meet in your cabin when you have a moment? I want to show you something I've been working on. What? Everybody wants to meet in my cabin? Uh, if I'm going to go to James, he's going to say the same thing? <laughs> It'll be a hell of a party. One hell of a party. Three girls and one guy. Oh damn, I don't want to think about it. Uh, engineer, uh, yeah, four girls, if she wants to meet yeah, Diana Ellers. Oh boy, this is gonna be something. Uh, this way, if I can remember correctly. Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. Yeah, call me up. What I said. Oh my God. Oh my God. Four girls, and one guy. Uh, Let's go to James. Let's see what she what he has to say. Okay, James, do you want to to talk about if I have the time? Hey, Commander, I know. Hey, that's all. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, oh, you're gonna say something? I knew you, Dina. Blah blah blah. Da. Hey, that's all. Yeah. Oh well. It uh, it remains to be with all the girls. Uh, I'm not gonna change it for the special occasion. I'm just gonna look around here, see what's new. Then I'm gonna go up. Ooh, nice. If I can remember correctly, I bought these things on the Citadel last time I was there. Uh, castle fabrication? It wasn't here. Yeah, castle. Oh, not gonna enter the spectro status thingy. No. Okay. Upgrade the weapons. Well guys, I'm not going to show you all the upgrades, uh, it's going to take a while, so we're going to see you in the next video and uh, let's see who's going to come up in my cabin. <laughs> this is going to be fun. See you guys next video.